Hello everybody and welcome. Well, we've got another workshop going on here and I just wanted to introduce you to some of the people uh, briefly and um, so why don't you come with me into the into the studio and uh, and, me and meet them. <laughs> Wow! Look at this. Who have we got here? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Where would you like to start? <laughs> Where would you like to start? Well, we'll start here with this, this tall, good looking gentleman. <laughs> I'm David. I'm from New Mexico. And I'm just here for the, for the workshop. Having a great time learning how to uh, do things I've never done before. <laughs> But, but you do, you have had a bit of experience, haven't you, yeah, David? But I've learned lots of new things, new tricks. Good. Because that's the thing, isn't it? There's always something that we can pick up and learn. It's always, I find, if I go and visit, if I go and visit another potter, there's always something that I see that he's doing. I think, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Or just something the way he's doing what, what he's doing with his clay, or what he's doing with his glaze, or. Just something about his studio. You always pick something up, don't you? That's great. So you, you're from, from you, you, uh, you and Brenda are both from 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 from, 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 from Coyote Clay. Is the studio where we work? Yeah, we should give Coyote a, Clay. So should we should we give a, a shout out to yes. my homies at Coyote? Oh, <laughs> yes. Coyote Clay. And Coyote. Well, we're going to give a shout out to Coyote Clay's. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody down there in Coyote Clay's in New Mexico. I hear New Mexico is a beautiful place. Very much so, yes, absolutely. That's great. Okay, we'll move on. Who have we got here? Oh. I'm Shelley from Pittsburgh, and um, I've been learning a lot. Um, I need to be more patient with myself, and um, I learned how to roll a rim today. <laughs> oh, you learned how to roll a rim? Yes. Good, yes. Yeah, I seem to I seem to think that you were rather enjoying the rolling of the rim, and uh, it's a very useful little t trick technique to learn. It's not that everything that one makes has got to have a rolled rim, but there are certain certain things that a rolled rim is actually very very useful and handy to have and to know how to do it. So yeah, that's great. Thank you. So, and who have we got here? Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from Columbia, Maryland. And um, also learned how to do a roll rim, working on um, handle pulling. Yeah. And uh, in addition, I'm learning some humility. Thought I knew how to make a <laughs> cylinder, but I'm actually learning how to correct some things that I've seen on videos. But when I'm here in person, it's so much different to have the you know the talk about you know no, that's not exactly right. It's it's just a world of difference. Yeah. Good. Yeah, of course, there are three shapes that are that we really generally make: the cylindrical, tall shapes, va vases, pitchers, uh, and everything that basically goes straight upwards. And then there's the bowly shapes and the flat shapes. Flat shapes are plates and lids primarily. But um, yeah, so really important to to get a really good foundation, I think, in learning how to make a cylinder. Um, and uh, you know, if you can make a cylinder confidently, you know, the world is your oyster. You know, you, you, there's so much you can do then with clay because once you've learned the skill of confidently being able to make a cylinder, the the rest is a lot of the rest is 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 downhill. So. Yet so many people seem to be unable to do that properly. Anyway, good. That's excellent. And um, last but not least. Hello. My name's Ed. I came out on the train from Ames, Iowa, 900 miles. Uh, and I learned this weekend that a cylinder, in fact, is a round shape <laughs> and not all the little wobbly shapes I was making before. Um, but I would say in uh, half an hour sitting with Simon, I learned more about making cylinders than I learned in the entire first pottery class I took. I haven't been at it for a few months. That's good. It was wonderful. Come out here. Do it. Now, you, you were actually, uh, you, you know, you, you were probably tired, but you were probably struggling a, li a little bit. I understand that people come here, they're probably a bit tense from traveling, etc. you know, and, uh, you know, their first time on the wheel here in the studio, they feel a little bit 
you know, maybe a bit nervous or something. Well, like I, Simon Leach looking over their shoulder. Well, yeah, I, I, I hope I hope that people don't don't feel no nervous, and, I'm, and I hope that people sort of know me a little bit from 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 the clips, you know, and that they don't really need to feel nervous at all, and that we are very we very much cater for for beginners, you know, it's not a. Um, it's kind of a it's 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 beginners, but it's advanced as well. It's a little bit of it's a mixture of uh, things, I think. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Ed, uh, I really noticed that you made. I gave you a bit of focused attention, and I really saw some signs of improvement there. Every cylinder is rounder than the one before. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks, Ed. Okay. Well, thanks all of you, and we're going to continue pulling these handles and of course pulling handles is in itself is a is a skill and um, it's not easy to manipulate the clay with your fingers and your hands in such a way as to for it to go where you want it to it's almost like having to start learning to throw pots all over again pulling handles isn't it you feel really you feel very awkward don't you yeah. I know yeah but it comes it comes good Okay, well, from here in Williamsburg, from the Etna's Furnace Studio, this is Simon Leach saying, maybe we could all say together what we all have to keep doing, and that is to keep practicing. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.